Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. Today we are talking flashlights, budget flashlights to be precise. So if you want to know what I found and liked or didn't like, come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So budget September is quickly coming to a close and I have two flashlights that I want to tell you about. Uh, I know one of them for certain was recommended uh, and even multiple times. The other I believe was recommended and that's how I came across it. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember who uh, said that, but lots of comments to cycle through, but you guys are awesome about letting me know uh, about gear I need to try out and so uh, let's uh let's start with the uh this flashlight right here this is the Sofern and I've actually been carrying uh this one uh in in my pocket uh for a hot minute so there is there is some gear in pocket dumps you won't see if it's something I'm testing and want to give you my opinion on and I don't want you to get the preview so this one has seen pocket time uh off and on for a uh, probably the last 10 days or so I think was when I got this and it is a it's a double-a uh, flashlight it runs on actual batteries not rechargeable uh, the rechargeable version of this light was not budget friendly uh, well it, it, it is it's a $40 light but not my budget I'm trying to keep gear pieces $30 and under but this one runs on double A's Obviously, you can use your own rechargeable double A's in this, uh, and it what came in at $28.99 on Amazon, and it comes in a few different color options, so pick your flavor and rock that, um, but I, I believe you guys have heard recently that I was digging the, uh, the Cheapo Cabela's flashlight I got that ran on actual batteries, and it was a single mode. So as part of what led to the finding of this, it is not a single mode light, but a very user friendly light and uh, it runs on actual batteries. So I could keep a spare battery in whatever pouch I'm running on my hip. And if for some reason my light were to die on me, I'm ready to rock and roll immediately. No charge time needed, which there is something to be said for that. Yes, yes, you can absolutely charge your flashlight on the go, uh, provided you have the right cable and a charging uh, device plugging it into your car, plugging it into an outlet, plugging it into a battery bank you have, but uh, not all of those can be used while you're charging them. And even if they can, you're connected to something. So popping in a battery and ready to rock and roll from full capacity has its advantages for sure. So this light, what does it look like? I got the red version and that is it. It has a, uh, has a side button here, has a pocket clip, and that pocket clip is very good. It doesn't have so much retention that you can't uh, slip it on, but it has enough that it's not going to easily fall back off. And it does have the uh, reverse so that you can clip it on your hat bill and shine this as a headlamp. Uh, it does tail stand, which is a very nice feature. It has a button. That is not a button. That is that is the shape of a button, but it, it is hard, it is metal, it doesn't do anything. It's the aluminum of the flashlight. And this is a simple untwist. The head of the flashlight and battery pops in and out. I am simply rocking an Energizer Max here and uh, replace that on. And the button is actually on the side of the flashlight. So you get that locked in. I tend to like to have my pocket clip 90 degrees from my button. That way when I stick this in my pocket, if it was, uh, if it was the same way, I feel I'm gonna depress that button because that's the way it is. You know, like that's kind of the way my pocket is and what I'm bumping up against. And if I have it behind, I tend to feel like I am going to push that. So I always pop it at 90 degrees, just kind of works for me. Uh, and at least 
least chance to have uh, have it activate accidentally. Um, but just in case you are one who does, I wanted to read my paperwork to find out. This has a four press to lock it out. So if you push that side button four times, it will be in lockout mode and you will not activate ac accidentally activate it. Four more presses and you are ready to rock and roll. Here is the money of this guys. So you, you click it and you are on and it has memory mode. So it comes on wherever you last were. This is not a cycle through light. It is a button push and it ramps up. When it gives you that click, you are at full capacity. Hold the button once again. And when it gives you that click, you are at lowest mode. And you can actually stop this anywhere in the process. So literally full control of what light you wanna to get to. And like I said, when you reach that, that flash, you know you are at one end of the spectrum or the other. So I love that. You can literally just cycle through, find you a nice spot. You're like, hey, that looks like a good brightness for me. And you stop it there. Now, uh, most of the time when I, when I use this light, regardless of which direction I'm moving, whether it is ramping up in light or ramping back down in light, it seems like when you stop it, it's going to ramp up majority of the time. So even if I am on my way, so for instance, we are at the top, I'm on my way down, I stop it there. That's a good light for me. If I were to ramp it again, it is gonna ramp back up. Now, if I take it all the way down, it just flashed, so I'm at the lowest mode here. Now, when I wanna go up, I go up and I'm like, hey, that's a good light. Okay, I want a little more. It's still gonna ramp up. So it seems like once you pause on a, on a light setting, when you hold the button to go again, it is going to be going up and not down. But I actually kind of leave it somewhere in this range. Seems to be a good, uh, a good light for me. And so when you turn it off, when you turn it back on, you are in that same mode. So uh, really cool light, really easy user interface. You don't have to worry about modes and you do have the ability to be in a ton of different uh, light settings depending upon what you need. And this thing maxes out 900 lumens, which is why it was looking so bright against my hand. So guys, for $28.99, uh, this is a steal of a deal. And I, uh, uh, this will see some pocket carry with a spare battery in whatever pouch I'm carrying on my hip, but I am very tempted to uh, either move this into my pouch, into my pouch altogether as my pouch flashlight, uh, just because of the capabilities of it, or even get a second. Um, and if I got a second, one of them would permanently live either in the pouch on my hip or in whatever small bag I'm most likely to grab and go with at the time. So uh, it's a terrific flashlight and I highly recommend it guys. Sofern uh, SP10 Pro. And the link for this will be down in the description below. Fabulous flashlight guys, $28.99, check it out. If you are into replaceable batteries, you are into easy user interfaces, you want uh, a high output or a, a very long run time, on the lowest setting that this drops down to, 122 hours. On that max setting, it is calling for two hours. So either way, you are running a lot, a lot, a lot of time on one single AA battery and super easy to have a spare. So definitely check that out. I really like it and you will see this with me, if not some other color variations. So highly recommend Sofern, super cheap, super budget friendly. And that's not even it guys. So it comes with a diffuser cap. So you turn this on and you now have a diffuser, pop that on your, on your table and you have a lamp. And when you turn this thing up to turbo, that thing is super, I mean, you can see everything that's lighting back here. That thing is super, super bright. So uh, even a, a little added bonus feature there that I can't recommend enough. But I found another flashlight as well that I wanna to talk to you about. And this one was recommended by several different people. This is the Wubin G2 also on Amazon, and this one came in at a much more budget-friendly price. I mean, $28.99 is not, not budget-friendly. Buy that light. This one was $22.99, and I have used it. I actually just put it back up 
for the for the video and I don't know why I did because now I have to open it back up again but this one is a terrific flashlight it comes oops my cable fell it comes very well packaged in here you have the light itself it is flat it is keychain ready uh, and it is a 90 degree light which is incredible and the way that I've been carrying it because uh, I'm not big on things being with my keys my keys are actually my car key is actually the only thing on there and uh, I uh, I don't like putting anything with it so this thing right here you can see you have the notches on the sides and this little clip that is etched out for it so you pop that on and it has two little latches that grab into those holes so this thing has not come off on me yet i was very skeptical of it but it is it is good and i'm actually going to pop it off to show you that but uh you uh there we go you have to pop it in but that clip has pretty good retention it is plastic so be careful but what i do with this is whatever bag i'm wearing it i'm wearing it's normally crossbody actually this way and i will just slide the light on right there so i have a light sitting somewhere in this general area facing the direction i am and this is a top push and double click gets it on and then you can single press to cycle through your modes But this one is a very cool flashlight. Come on, there we go. Back on again. Very, very bright. Now this one is uh, maxing out at 500 lumens, but it is a terrific light. You can actually put that kind of anywhere you want. And then the keychain accessory, if you pull and twist, will come off. And this is a magnetic uh, end. So you can actually adhere it to something on the end um but it is just a actually find something else. so you can actually just magnetize that and attach it to whatever you need to attach it to i like the magnetic feature in the end it doesn't get in the way of anything that you're doing um and it adds you the ability to attach it to something so I'm a big fan of that and it is hidden. So you just swing this thing back on and it is a twist. So you just kind of line it up and twist. If I get it locked in. And it just locks into place. So that's a twist off, twist on. Super easy, keychain attachment is right there. And this one, we are maxing out at 500 lumens and on low, you are gonna see 70 hours. And this, what I dropped before, USB-C rechargeable. So you can't beat the charging capabilities and that is right here on the end next to the button. And so again, for me, this one is a really cool flashlight because I just clip it onto whatever, the strap of whatever bag I'm carrying. And I have a light there, also very easy. Just pop it in the pocket. Um, majority of my shirts have pockets on them. I got pockets there, I got pockets here. Also the logo representing, but uh, pockets everywhere. So the ease of ability to use that uh, comes in very handy for me. If you are a keychain uh, fan, uh, having items on your keychain, this will be an excellent one to have. Pop in your USB-C, recharge it, you're ready to rock and roll for up to 70 hours and seeing a max output of 500 lumens. So guys, these are the two flashlights that uh, I found, aside from the Cabela's one that you have seen, and I love them both. Making sure I don't have any other flashlights hanging out over there that I needed to talk about. These are great. Highly, highly recommend this for a standard everyday use pocket light, uh, everyday carry, pop it in your pocket, pop it in your bag, ready to rock and roll whenever you need it. Just keep, uh, you know, have access to a AA battery in case it dies. And this one, excellent keychain light, excellent clip light. I don't think that there are enough in this form factor. Like there's something to be said for, even if you wanted to pocket carry this, like just carry it in your pocket. I mean, you're, 
you turn that thing around, the pocket clip's hanging out, you have a little bit of the light sticking up, but it's gonna be like, hey, what do you got there? That's obviously not a knife. So, I mean, just a very cool form factor, small, lightweight, packs a punch, 500 lumens, that's absolutely incredible. So, $22.99, $28.99, links below, check them out. But guys, I got a few more videos coming for you. We are wrapping up September. So I got to get these last videos out. You will see uh, one tomorrow and one on Friday. So uh, some more gear to talk about budget friendly, but cannot recommend either of those flashlights enough. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me. I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you did both. Comment below and let me know what you think of these lights, if you have used them or what other budget lights I am missing out on because even though Budget September is at an end, I don't believe I'm gonna be able to get an item and review it before September ends at this point. Doesn't mean I don't want some budget items because I have learned you can get good quality without spending all of your money. So uh, definitely talk to me below, let me know what you think and what you know. And uh, I will be back with another video. Remember, EDC, EDC.